This is Token Trove right here. Uh, you got your brows. Not a huge fan. Just not. I'm literally. I'm gonna say boop. Cosmetics coming out. That'll be interesting. Found out yet? Cards. Here we go. So brows. Here we go. This is what's selling right now. Genesis right here. Uh, this is one of the new cards. Uh, light something or lights verdict. Oh man. Yeah. So lights verdict. That's a little expansion set. I did buy one of the packs. Did get some cards. I think I sold all. I think I sold three of them. Yeah, so this is the stuff that's selling right now. Uh, market. It's beautiful. You got all your different sets. Ugh, you gotta stop clicking that. Damn it. You got your rarities. Qualities. God. I mean, if you wanted to get into uh, expensive cards, I mean, the activity right here by price. See what we got for, you know, moving money and sold. Say. It is unfortunate. I do. You know, I do wonder. We're going from 120 and all of a sudden, we're going up here. You know. I gotta wonder if that's, you know, token trove, gods and chains in here. Me kind of like uh, buying up things, manipulating your own prices and stuff like that. I don't know if it is or if it isn't. Could be. I mean, it's not speculation. I'm saying I don't know. But it does kind of seem. I mean, if it was just straight up bidding. You know, like it is with the smaller cards, for sure. They don't go and <laughs> individually spend five cents, one cent, two cents, a dollar. You know, these are ten thousand dollar things. This is taking the whole, you know, the whole market of Apex and bringing it up. Let's just turn it around to the tiny, tiny cards, right? I mean, this one sold for zero cents. I mean, point zero 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 infinite, basically ether, nothing, zero cents. You know, but really, I mean, they're typically yeah, they're like one cent. You don't really get things for zero cents, but. <coughs> Like this, got a bunch of these for one cent. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. I'm gonna just take 18 out of the rest. Beautiful, actual. It's beautiful. It's like I'm buying this. This is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This is could be 18 different people, you know, 18 different people are going to get basically 18 cents. This is always interesting when you're buying hundreds of the things, you know, which I don't typically do that, but I do do it sometimes. And it's like click, 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 a lot of clicking, a lot of clicking, a lot of buttons, you know, for a video game, you know, when you're not playing it, there's a lot of crap to do with the clicking of the buttons. And unfortunately, that actually does take some actual, like, uh, human time, human labor, you know, it really does. So, boom, you know, that's 18 people, they just got a penny a piece. I, I like that card, and I love death. Death is... I get death, nature, death. I get the most enjoyment out of death, though. That's the truth of the matter. Uh, I love this card, uh, but... Yeah, I get some I get some enjoyment out of death. It's my favorite god to play. Con most consistency. Deal two damage to your opponent's god, and heal your god for two. That's... And it's a free two. I mean, that's a, that's a beautiful card right there. That's the... I already own 28... Oh, they're not one cent. See, those ones sold for zero, zero. So I said, ah, if there's any for a penny, I'm going to go, I'll just buy them all for a penny. Don't even really care how many there is. Bony, bony bastard, I don't really like this one that much. Oh, you got only six of them, though. Yeah. So I do do that a lot. I just come in here and clean up the, the one cent ones. So, you know, it's, once again, one, you got to keep in mind here. One god token was, you know, five, six bucks. Not just five bucks. You know, how long was it above above five? Eh, not long enough. Not even nearly. Is it going to go back to all-time highs? That's all you got to ask yourself. Is Bitcoin going to go back to all-time highs? Is Ethereum going to go back? Is Avalanche? Is, it's all, I mean, it's just all these really, 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 really good product uh, projects out there. And the U.S. government's putting out, you know, a freaking Digidollar here. Coming soon. Come on. The Digidollars that are going to, you know, the Digi-Euro on and on and on and on with the government money. 
golly. This is this is gonna be a really beautiful uh, option, other than government money. This is not God tokens, but <clears throat> how God tokens plays into the whole digital economy. You know, Bitcoin's gonna be great. Ethereum's better. Ethereum's beautiful and great. Uh, I guess I don't think it's better. I don't think it's better. I just said better. It's better scaling and that. That's going to be important as hell moving into the future. But also the fact that there's only, what, 21 million Bitcoin? You know, 21 million. Hmm, I think right now we're approaching real close to 8 billion people on Earth. So, I mean, 21 million Bitcoins. Even you divide them down into the dot. You know, zero, 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 one type of situation. You know, that's still... It's a lot of people and not a lot of Bitcoin <laughs> moving forward. Okay, we got any of those in the ones? No. I love this card. Absolutely love it. Mark of Death. Super good. I got five of them. I also got uh, some non-meteorite copies moving up with that. Oh, none. Not even that many at two cents with that one anymore. So anyways, this is the market here. And like I said, you can set your quality. You can come over here to shadow. And uh, I got my favorite Celeste right here. Well, this is on uh, activity. So we got to go over to market. We gotta go to all. And I'll come down to my favorites. Why don't, why don't somebody out here? Why don't you buy one of these for me? I'll give you. A, I'm practicing my YouTube video making. So what's a good one? That one is interesting. I really like this girl. She's a mage with leech. Deal one damage to each creature. That's a lot of leech to just throw it out there. You get a bunch of leech real quick. Heals you up. Uh, you know. She's a little underpowered, but with that instant leech damage, as long as they don't have armor, the hunt's always good. You see, I don't really have uh, tons of, like, Genesis cards in here. This isn't a, a thing for, like, collecting rare Genesis, uh, you know, expensive items. I don't even think I have any diamond ones or shadow ones even on my list. Runestone. That one's a Genesis card. Yeah, just love that card. Add each. That's a draw four. That's a draw four, and each one of them is two. So it does take another eight mana, uh, you know, to expand this. But these things are lifesavers. You have four sweet, sweet cards. One's uh, three damage. Uh, one's uh, two, two front line. You know, draw one's draw card. That's a, that's a good card. And uh, some of these on here I do actually have just for collectors. You know, I don't see. This one right here, I got destroy two random friendly creatures. This creature gains two, three for each creature destroyed. Vile Mantis. This thing is super powerful. Here's the deal. Sometimes, because you don't know what the, the two random friendly creatures are going to be. Sometimes, like if I got a bunch of the zombies on the board and they're one ones, that's a no brainer. Bunch of one ones, you get a two, three for this guy times two. <clears throat> that's four, six on Roar. Four, six for destroying two zombies is definitely worth it. But if you got two really big characters, sometimes it's like you can't put this up. Because you only got two giant guys on the board. You can't even put this card up. It just stays in your hand because you can't freaking destroy, you know, massive frontline or whatever. You can use your imagination. You can't destroy two of these guys to put this guy up for a 2-3. So it's like you want those cards to be in, you can't pick up. So it's a good card, though. This one is a beautiful one I started using recently. Core card, God Bless Afterlife, destroy a random creature. you got to watch out because sometimes that random creature is yours. I recently put this, the Raise Imp, I put this in all of my decks now. It's a neutral god, Genesis card, Roar, shuffle two random nethers into your deck. I love it because it's random. If it says one mana, two mana, three mana, I mean, this is a one, so if it did two, three mana nethers into my deck, I mean, that would still be a no-brainer. But since it's random nethers, this is a one mana card, two, two, so it's already full power. You know, it's actually double power, but one mana cards often are double. Once you get to two mana and above, that's not the case. If it's a two mana, then you're looking at a two two. If it's a three mana, you're looking at a three three, or a two four, or a one five. Something that adds up to double this number. But just for one mana, because it's starting cards, you will typically get a two two. And then you get two random nethers. So if you throw as your very first hand, you throw this out, you start it with a four four. Because you can use two man on your first turn if you use your uh, bag of tricks. So you're coming out with a 4-4, four, four, and you already added four random nethers to your deck. Those things can be a, 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 a three, a four, or a five, and a six mana nether into your deck. You went from 30 cards to 34 cards on your first turn. 
I mean, that, and these, some of these nethers are crazy overpowered. I mean, for free. I mean, totally free cards. And boom, one is some, let me see what I got down here. Here we go. You know, well, you know, there you go. Destroy all sleeping creatures. You get that random nether like that? That's a good card to just get extra for free. Here we go. Pan over it like this. This is what I'm talking about. Sometimes you, I, the, the ratio of, I say, I, if you do that with four cards, at least half the time, one of them's going to be some legendary nether. And that's just like, pfft, for free cards, it's like, holy crap, give me more of those things. So, yeah. Love this card. Moonlight Charm. It's just fun. You get it off. Uh, obliterate Creatures with Order. Uh, Divine Judgment. I never use that card. Love this guy. Right? Afterlife. Heal your god for three. That's good. And add a random seven mana cost wild creature to your hand. Now, this is one where it is seven mana, so it's not random. But that's actually a good thing, because this thing's a five. So if you put this up at five, and it survives one turn, now you're coming on five and a half or six. Then, say you want to keep it alive, because you already got a seven mana creature that you're already going to put up, so you don't need a seven mana creature, and you're going to keep it alive. So you, you know, you hit to the god face, punch him in the face with this thing, and then you keep it alive. And uh, next turn, uh, they kill the thing anyways. And now you're coming on six and a half or seven, you still got a bag of tricks left. You get your afterlife, heal you for three. Plus, you get a free seven mana wild creature. That's not and nothing for a free card. That's a hell of a good free card. You know, it's a seven mana wild creature. Who knows what giant thing you get? And it's free. And uh, this thing is not, not underpowered enough for for. It's, I mean, it's underpowered by literally one strength stat. That's nothing. One tiny strength for heal three. Plus a whole another seven mana wild creature. That's a no brainer. I mean, wild. There's two of these in my deck. Trial of the Underworld. I just, I just love that card. Some of these I literally buy for the art. I gotta be honest with you. I totally buy them for the art. I think it's absolutely amazing. When I, when I look through these cards, I don't even see a game. I just, I say, wow, that's beautiful. Wow, that's beautiful. Wow, that's beautiful. Wow, that's beautiful. I love Amazons. I started collecting Amazons the very first thing. I absolutely love this girl right here. Steadfast Scout. Absolutely. I want to paint this giant thing as a big old plaque, and I want to put this thing as a plaque right on my bedroom wall. This very card right here. Not just this one. A couple other ones. Tough Town Folk. She's my girl right there. Uh, but, look at this card. If you control at least two other creatures. So all you gotta have is two creatures on the board. First of all, if you're nature and you pick, one of your abilities is to summon a 1-2 badger. For two. I mean, so it's like, you got one card, you summon another one, boom, you can put this thing down on five. And it gets 2-2. Two, two. So this thing ends up being a 3-5 three, for three. 3-5 three, for three. The only stipulation, you know, the only stipulation is... You gotta have two other creatures, which is, if you're nature, that's such an easy thing to have happen to you, that there's two other creatures on your board, unless you're already getting obliterated somehow by a, a god of war or something like that. So, anyways, I could go, I, I could literally go on all day about how to Token Trove right here, and the Immutable X Marketplace, and all the other beautiful crypto markets, but I really love this one. This one's my favorite. I've done my research. I just go go into crypto projects, go into crypto, I must have went through, I don't know, freaking 100. I would say fucking a hundred or well over a hundred just pouring through them. You know, I've run through every single word of Gala Games website. Every word. Read every single page, every single word. More than one time. Not the whole thing more than one time, but the whole thing one solid time. And then tidbits here and updates there. And I still do. I still do. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm really impressed with how, how often they update this and, and how smooth everything runs. You know, it, it just, love this guy. Aggressive superior. In real life, I don't really like that guy. That guy is an annoying guy to work with. But, if he's getting the job done in this case, you know, for four cents, then I love this. Look at this. And, boom. 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 And that was that. You know, I just bought this guy four cents from someone who knows where the hell they are. Who knows? You know? Who knows who that person is, really? I mean, they could be in Australia. And it's just nice and quick. Works well. I'm really impressed with it. When I when it, when it first, when, you know, when this game first came out, I was like, man, they got a really good game here. If they just, you know, fixed all these problems. And it's like, in the last two years, all they've been doing is fixing problems and adding shit. It's like constantly. Sometimes they just want to play. I gotta get on my god, update. And some of them are big. And it's like, holy crap. And their website and Discord. And it ain't no joke. These guys are putting in the work. They're putting in the sweat. They're putting in the time. They really are. They're working really well. I don't know what their office looks like. And I heard they did layoffs. And that's not good at all. 
I, I was thinking they should get the uh, pay raises since this company is raking in freaking crazy amounts of dough. You look at their, uh, oh, this little game bar thing is right in my way.